Hey everyone, my name is Pratisha and I welcome you all in SketchUp to Jennifer. We are learning how to use the SketchUp application in this channel. In today's class, we will be discussing on how to make a complete 3D of a residence in SketchUp. I have recently uploaded the part 1 of this tutorial. Part 1, you learned how to import AutoCAD files in SketchUp, how to draw a line with the help of Pencil tool and make a simple model. In today's class, we will continue this model. At the end of the class today, you will be able to make a model like this. If you like my videos, then do not forget to click on the like button below. If you find my videos helpful and if you want to see more of the SketchUp tutorial videos, then do not forget to subscribe to my channel. Now, let's complete this building. On our last class, we completed our building till here. Now, we will place a spiral staircase. Go to the 3D warehouse and download a spiral staircase. Fix it on a space and adjust the scale with the help of the scale tool. Here, we need a little editing on the parapet, so triple click on the parapet and draw a line. Next, download glass railing similarly. Copy, rotate and edit it to fix it in its face. As indoor to edit. Next, make pergolas and copy them and fix them in its place. Here I am making pergolas. Do not forget to make group of entirely everything you create in SketchUp. So let us uh, install glass over the pergolas. Here I am making a band to fix over my windows. My group and move it. Move it with the help of move tool and we need to do little bit of Editing here, copy it and place it over the top like this. Here I am applying color. So next, um, I'm drawing a line here because I want to apply materials in only this section. I have brick over here, so triple click on the face and draw a line. And then select the brick and apply it. I have a blue color over here. So, okay, now what do we have next? Mm. Here I am making a design on my parapet wall.
I have another element on my front facade. So in this way you can add any design elements in your building. Make sure that you make group of each and everything that you create in SketchUp literally. Create group and then only edit it. So here I am adding more design elements in my building. So here I am making sites with the help of pencil tool. So offset and then with the help of push pull toolbar, pull it upwards. So we have parking over here, so we'll apply stone and to edit it, you can just go to edit and then increase or decrease the size of the material. You can see the changes. Now we'll apply grass. Let us, let us search trees. Okay. So I downloaded trees similarly from the 3D warehouse. I have a flower bed over here and I'm I'm placing flowers that I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. In the same way you can download any plants and keep it in your model. I have downloaded hanging plants and I'm placing it over here. For my boundary wall, I'm applying this type of brick texture. So you can always edit any materials available in SketchUp. You can also input your own materials from the internet. I will teach you that in another class. So I need to install a gate and I'm downloading it from the 3D warehouse. I'll fix my gate here. Now let us make our surrounding. So I have a road over here, so I will give a black color to my road and here I am making another building, my neighborhood building. And let us apply some landscape to our model. So we have completed till here in today's class. If you want to practice this, then you can mail me. I'll provide you the AutoCAD drawings as well. So we'll learn about all the tools in upcoming classes. I'll see you next in another class with video tutorials. 
If you haven't watched the tutorial on how to create windows in SketchUp and how to import AutoCAD files in SketchUp, then you can click on the box right here.